Less than a week after the nation's latest school shooting, this time in the Nashville area, Florida set to loosen its gun laws, appalling, say opponents of those loosened restrictions, necessary, say Second Amendment advocates. The Senate approved permitless carry, sending it to Governor Ron DeSantis for expected signature. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders explains what it means for Floridians. Outside the Senate, Inside, the debate raged for the last time over permitless carry, which, if signed, would allow legal gun owners to carry concealed weapons without the currently required permit or training. For Democrats, it was a non-starter. When this bill passes, however careful, however well-intended, people are going to die. We should do everything in our power to make us safer. That's more important. Republicans have said from the start they're trying to eliminate a government permission slip to access the Second Amendment. What this bill does for the majority of Floridians is ensure that they have the right to protect those they love. This bill attempts to return the God-given rights of humanity, the God-given rights of self-defense. Others highlighted the bill's various public safety measures, like more active assailant training for law enforcement, better threat sharing for schools, and an expansion of Florida's guardian program to private institutions. This piece of policy is a continuation of the legacy of school safety that Florida prioritizes. Even so, Democrats... We must do more. We will do more. And more guns does not mean more safety. Voting unanimously against the measure. 27 yeas, 13 nays, Madam President. So the bill passes. Overwhelmed by the GOP supermajority, who, despite one defection, is delivering permitless carry to the governor as promised. His pen making it effective July 1st of this year. Now, DeSantis has said he's a fan of open carry, but the GOP leadership in both chambers didn't have the stomach for it this year, so he's getting permitless concealed carry instead. Regardless, he says he'll sign. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting. With the Republican supermajority never in doubt, and uh, you heard the emotional pleas on both sides. Your thoughts? Well, I have to kind of sort of smile at the God-given right for uh, concealed weapons. I don't believe that God got involved in gun policy <laughs> in Florida. But uh, look, you know, those who oppose this issue have failed to make their case over, over the last 10 years. They have failed to elect people who oppose open carry. They, you know, this is on the voters of Florida. This is what the legislature has and the governor has decided that the voters of Florida want. So we're now going to have to get used to the fact that uh, I might be carrying a concealed weapon right now and uh, I don't need a permit. I don't need any training. And there you go. And we'll have to see how it plays out in the streets, neighborhoods. I, uh, but let me add, as far as I know, you still won't be allowed to carry a concealed weapon in the legislature or during their committee meetings. So they're very brave about this, except when it might involve we'll that. We'll talk about that more because that critique's been brought up frequently. <laughs> it's allowed everywhere except in yeah, certain spots well, like there. You know. Uh, Brian, also speak to the fact that at the end of the day, these kind of issues are, are, are you, you talk about it a lot. Uh, Republicans have a majority. Uh, you know, it was former President Obama when he was president said, you know, essentially, I'm paraphrasing, we won. I get to make the rules. It was a Democrat who said that. You remember that famous sure, quote? I'm sure. slightly paraphrasing. Republicans argue we won. And the overwhelming number of people in Florida are happy with what we're doing, as evidenced by a Republican supermajority in both chambers and a Republican governor elected in a landslide. Yeah, and, and Ron DeSantis loves his power. And so far, all of the things he's done, even attacking Disney, uh, which backfired on him, uh, haven't hurt him uh, in the polls. Haven't, you know, he's still a popular governor in this state. So, and becoming increasingly popular nationwide among Republicans. So. There's every indication that this is what Floridians want. Uh, now, another thing that Floridians want. The majority want, of Floridians. Another thing the that majority Floridians of voting want, Floridians. Uh, with their, they're starting to talk more and more about is homeowners insurance uh, mm -hmm. help and stuff like that. I mean, homeowners insurance is about to go through the roof. Citizens insurance announced a 14 to 15 percent average increase for everybody. Uh, f flood insurance is becoming mandatory mm -hmm. even if you don't live in a flood zone. Uh, uh, private insurance is going up 30, 40 percent. Mm -hmm. People are feeling it, and it's uh, it's starting to impact. And at the same time, we're seeing tort reform, though, that has personal injury and other lawyers uh, uh, up in arms. Uh, 
figuratively, I should be careful I say that after the last story, but uh, very upset, but we're seeing that, that, that uh, many lawmakers are saying eventually we'll help lower your insurance, so we'll have to see where tort reform goes. Well, you know, and it's one of those interesting things, it's a battle between what they like to call billboard attorneys and insurance companies, who's caught in the middle. Once again, it's the person who has insurance. Uh, it's gonna be harder for them to make claims, it's gonna be harder for them to win in court and a lot more expensive to do it. Let's talk another uh, bill that almost certainly will make it to the governor's desk uh, soon, uh, reducing uh, the time in which one may seek an abortion from 15 weeks to six weeks. Highly contentious. Uh, your thoughts, again, as that moves to the governor's desk. Well, again, we, we, we've seen a big change in Florida over these kinds of issues. Had you, you know, I, I watched the Equal Rights Amendment in, in Florida in the 80s, and I, I've watched other t issues around abortion, and the outrage about anybody messing with any of that was usually huge. Uh, it, ever since the court overturned Roe, it has been relatively quiet in Florida, and this six-week abortion ban is basically passing very, very easily with some protest, but very little. So again, this must be what Floridians want. And we, we're seeing sea changes in education, vouchers for everyone, although they say those uh, who are disadvantaged economically will still have top priority, things that uh, some argue are a natural outgrowth of Jeb Bush's uh, policy to open up uh, education to school choice, yet on issue after issue, uh, groundbreaking changes. Yeah, and, and, and the reason I keep saying this is what Flor Floridians want is I, People like to blame the people in office. I tend to go to the voters. You know, you pay attention to the people that you're electing, pay attention to the issues, and if this is what you want, okay. Brian, we'll have your closing comments in a moment. As always, appreciate it. We'll be back in just a second.